guys, it's Katie. So, um, just so you know, this next week I will be at camp, so, um, I have a video that I wanted to post for the past, like, week or two, and it's kind of like a vlog form. I can just edit that sometime at camp and then post that. Um, it's something I was really passionate about. But for this week, I wanted to do a video. <laughs> I, I, always, I always start my videos like that a lot. But this week, I was really inspired just by people I've seen around me and people I've met in my life recently. And I wanted to do a video on three ways that can, three ways to make yourself a happy, happier person. That sounds kind of bad the way I just described it, but I, not kind of, it's a little kind of bad. But it's just three ways to make yourself happier and have a happier life. Because um, a lot of people nowadays are so negative and the world is just so negative and down. And if people just focus on like these three things or a few other things in their lives, I feel like it could be a lot better and just be a lot happier. So I hope you like like my advice. <laughs> Number one, surround yourself with people who make you happy. And not just the fake kind of happy, like the friends that you just drive around normally. Just make, surround yourself with the people who literally make you happy. The ones that you can go for, you can go to for anything that's going on in your life. The ones that are there for you through thick and thin. It took me forever to realize that. I used to be that person where I wanted to make so many friends and just, I liked to talk to one person, new person every day. Um, and meet a new person all the time, but it, eventually that just blew up in my face, and I can't, like, it blew up in my face for a while, and I started, you know, minimizing my friend group, and just making it, and, like, hanging out with the people who really do make me happy, and the people that really just, that really do mean the world to me, and sure, and I check up on a lot of people too, and like the people that make that make me happy, I'll just randomly text them or something and be like, hey, so how are you, and just want to check on them because they mean the world to me. Number two, work in on my fitness. Okay, so I don't want this to come off as a bad thing or anything, but fitness can sometimes make your life very happy, and, and I don't mean just fitness, like your actual, like, muscular fitness in your body but just like a clean a clean mind a clean life just cleaning out your life and cleansing yourself for who you are um i met this lady at um, a mary Kay like a mary Kay convention kind of thing not really a convention but it was a thing that my mom went to my mom and i went to and i met this lady and she worked with this uh, she had this company that she was working for with and Basically, they were helping you with like meal plans and things like that for like, actual fitness, but then they also have helped with like mental fitness and just working on having like an overall well, good well-being. And that's something I really think that most people need to work on because like sure, being like being in a good fit physical physical shape can make, make you a little happier. Some people that's what makes them happy, but for me, I can't just be I can't just be physically fit. I need to have like my mind scraped clean of all the bad in my life. I also just, and I just need my soul to be cleansed. And for me, I do that in different other, in other different ways. But a great way to be happy is to just cleanse yourself of all the negativity from inside your life and just let it go. Let it go. Cleanse yourself and um, and work on becoming becoming that positive fit person inside, and that really helps. Number three, this is the one that I have trouble with, and this is the biggest one, especially for someone my age. Don't listen to other people, what they say. If they say anything negative about you, don't listen to them. If they say positive things, acknowledge it, but don't let it get to your head. That's a big problem that I have, and I know a couple people do around me do have. There was a point in time, there was a point in time when like people would call me fat and ugly and things like that all the time, and it really got to my head, and it made me just freak out about myself and I wasn't happy. I wasn't happy for the longest time because there were people saying things about me and things like that in my life. And it just doesn't make, it wouldn't make me happy. And it's really hard, I know it's really, really hard to ignore those kinds of things. Like sometimes there's some people that want to actually take it head on and tell them to stop. There are other people that will sit back and just take it. And that's, I'm one of those people that will just sit back and take it. I don't like to, I don't like confrontation. I've grown up in a household full of just love and compassion and I've never seen my parents or my grandparents fight or anything so I just I've never seen any confrontation so finally when I got to like middle school high school when there was actual like drama and testosterone hormones everywhere and all the all the fights and things the fights not fights but you know verbal fights were going on it was something I couldn't handle I'd never seen that before and so like for me 
sometimes with confrontation, I just freak out in my mind. I let it get to me, and then eventually I'll just like freak out and it makes me paranoid about things. And then I'm not happy because I just don't know how to handle it. And it's something I'm working on myself, but it's something I've never seen before, so it's not like I can handle it well. Well, a good way to handle it is just by letting it go again. Like, you can't just take everything that everything, you have to take everything that people say about you with a grain of salt. If they're trying to tell you something, if they're trying to tell you something for your benefit, take it, take it with a grain of salt and, you know, improve on it when you really need, when you really feel like you need to. But if it's something bad about you saying like, oh, this girl said this, don't take it for anything. Just take it with a grain of salt and go away and just let it go from your life because if you sulk on it forever, it'll just make your life worse and things will seem way more negative than they really need to be. So those are three tips I had for having a happier life, and I hope you liked this. If you did, comment, like, subscribe, do whatever you want to do. My social media links are below, and I will see you guys later. Bye.